Charterman, Charterman, Rhyme, Charterman, 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 Rhyme, Reading comics, Twitter, Hell of Six, Hell of Wackin' It, Take a Bad Hit, Take a Bad Hit, Charterman, Subscribe, Machine for Domains, Order Inch Figure, and that's surely the one sneezing in this review. Hey, what's up, you guys? Sharmus Prime here, doing another Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles figure review on the TMNT Nicktoons Cartoon Mousers. These things are pretty damn cool, man. Uh, I picked them up at Toys R Us. Thank you, Mr. Phil's, making sure I got a hold of these things. These things are awesome. If you're trying to find your TMNT figures, you can't find them at retail. I suggest you go to Big Bad Toy Store. Big, big, big. Get your big badass toys at BigBadToyStore.com. Click the link in the description below. Hello. And here's the mousers inside the packaging right over here. Nickelodeon Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. There's the turtles. Mousers. Scrappy and Fierce Robotic Army. Bonus 7 pack. And here's the back of the packaging over here. So some cool stuff. Reviewed a few of these guys already. Looking cool. And then there's a whole bio on the mousers. If you want to read that, pause it. And yeah. Cool pictures of the mousers from the show, looking dope. So these little guys are cool, man. I really dig them. They come in three different colors. As you can see, there's this light gray one right here, and you get three of those. And then there's these two black ones right here, and then you get two gunmetal colored ones right over here. And they're all pretty cool. I like the sculpt on them. Now on just the two black ones over here, there's this nice red paint detail going on the inside of the mouth. I like that a lot. I think that looks fantastic. That is awesome. And the sculpt overall on these are pretty damn cool. I mean, very nice looking mousers. Not a whole lot going on, but still very nice looking figures. You know what I mean? And this is a light gray one. But unfortunately, on the light gray and gunmetal, they do not have the red in the inside of the mouth. And that kind of bums me out. Here's the gunmetal looking one. And yeah, you can see right there, inside of the mouth. No paint detail. They have this nice red on all of them right here at the top, which is pretty nice. And other than that, there's no other paint applications. As far as articulation goes, their mouths move up and down, so that's pretty cool. They do have this ball joint right here, so you can have them move side to side. You can have them pivot side to side, and they look up and down, which is very nice. And then they have leg articulation that makes them move up and down right there, and that's it. It's kind of tricky to get them into running poses. It's really hard to like get that nice you know little mouser stride that I like but you know other than that I think these guys are very very cool and they're fun to have man they're just a nice set and you know for 10 bucks you get seven of them I don't think it's too bad so these guys are very very short they stand at only about an inch and a half tall I want to say and here they are compared to Leonardo from the TMNT series so I think they're in great scale and here they are compared to another green hero, the Marvel Legends Big Time Letdown Spider-Man. So I think this is a very cool buy. I totally recommend it. I really like what Playmates has been doing. Of course, this setup right here is made for the kids, but, you know, I think they're very, very cool nonetheless. You can get a lot of emotions out of them due to all this head movement that we get over here. So I think they're pretty damn neat. That's my review, guys. I hope you dig it, and I'll catch you later. Peace. They're just a night. Nice, okay. <laughs>